Hello great people, this is Santa Topper. I'll be showing you how to make this by rolling a ball of fondant. You roll a ball of fondant, make a depression at the center and um, a hole for the eyes, like so. Use your bone tool or any other tool you could find. It could be the end of your brush. It will also work. Now we we'll roll white fondant. You make a ball, ball shape, tiny white fondant. Use it to make a ball shape and insert it into the hole you've created using water as your glue. <laughs> you can use edible glue. Just fix the white fondant into the holes of the fondant they make another tiny skin um, fondant for the nose remember you can use a um, little bit of orange to create this kind of skin tone it's just very little bit of orange color we use it to our white fondant so it's easy to do Okay, so you roll tiny sausages or fondant for the eyebrow. Before we continue, remember to subscribe to the channel, press the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you are always aware whenever we post a new video. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, when you make the eyebrow for the face then you can go ahead and make the mustache and the beard everything is white it is santa claus so it's very easy to do just make the sausage for the mustache and um, let's do the beard all right so i'll see you when we're done with that then we'll move to the body
Now we're done with the edge. You can see how easy that is. So our Santa Claus is ready. Just little fondant, tiny fondant body. Hair to show the hair coming out of the cap. Okay, Santa is ready. Okay, Santa Ed. Santa Ed is ready. So that's how easy to make your cake. Top up. Okay, for the body, you roll a sausage fondant. This is about 44 grams of red fondant. Roll a sausage and bend it at 5 inches length or thereabout. Then take another fondant, say like 30 grams or 35 grams. Then you make a kind of teardrop shape, then press the middle, bend it forward. Then you're going to place this on the leg. So to do that, all you need to do is apply your edible glue or water. I'm using water right now. And place this um, other fondant on top to form the body to the leg. Now you shape the leg like this is a wrinkled trousers using your dress then. The tool I'm using is called the dress then, too, in case you're wondering. So we want to make a depression on the middle of the body to show the tummy. You know, Santa always have big tummy, right? So I want to move that to a new board. Then we'll continue with the leg and the hand. All right, so I will still appreciate it so much. If you have not pressed the subscribe button, it's below this video. Kindly press that button. <laughs> and remember to press the notification bell so you are aware of any of our videos and giveaways. I'm very sure you will love them. All right, so you need to lay those two fond sausage or fondants beside each other in the middle of the body. That is just to create an impression that there is a, an edge to the clothes. So I'm making that edge to blend, then make the tiny dots using the sharp end of your tool to create a kind of impression on the fondant. You just want it to look like it's the edge of the cloth, you know, the Santa clothes. All right, so now to make the end of the Santa, you need to take a small fondant, roll it round, then press it flat on the board, make a cut at the end as I have done, then make another cut in the middle, another cut in the middle, like you're cutting three places. Then it gives you the five fingers for our Santa. Okay, so we're done with that. We're going to fix that and continue with this center.
As for the Santa belt, I used chocolate brown, chocolate brown fondant. And that's what we have rolled very thin and made a tape of it. So that is already attached to the body. And we're going to be making a belt. So right now, I'll make a sausage. I roll thin sausage for the for the buckle rather for the buckle not belt we have placed the belt so i'm going to place the buckle sorry you can add, go ahead and attach the end of the santa so for the belt i'm going to add using i will add it using water to attach that so you first brush it with water. And please, when you're using water, you just want to use it to brush it. Use your wet brush. Use your wet brush to brush the surface. Don't drop water on your fondant. Yes, now we want to fix our shoe <laughs> or the Santa shoe. Okay, so a sausage is being rolled using the chocolate brown fondant. So then you bend the sausage at an angle like that, and this creates a kind of shape that looks like the shoe shape but you need to do it further using your dresden tool so i'm going to be creating the eel and the sole of the shoe with the same um tool using the same fondant so you want to create an impression that it has the heel there and the base of the shoe should also have some you know lines or look so i'm doing that using the sharp part of the tool to make lines all right so when we're done with this all we need to do is cut the edge so we can fix this shoe to the leg okay so we're done with all this um making of our santa and i hope you enjoyed the video we hope to give you new videos soon. So stay close. Stay close to our them. Remember to drop your comments and like this video if you think I did a good job. Okay, so we still create an impression on the fondant for the leg you know always use this white fondant to close every joining in your santa it's just an op it's just so easy you know you just need to use white sausage or fondant to join every part of the body like not every anyways major parts as you're seeing in the video so it's so so easy to do i hope you can try out your own and will be glad that you could make that for your Christmas cakes. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.